Now we made a good start with a late night basket making session, um, but it's time to uh, crack on. And what we need to do first and foremost is to stitch in a new bit of cane. So we can see here, we've got a nice sort of regular affair going on here and that the cane is, is staggered as it works its way round the coil. So the next logical place for our piece of cane to come out is going to be here. So it's gonna come out here and bind round here. That means we need to send it in here. So we're gonna go in there like so and just push through like that okay and there we can see the needle coming out there okay so let's get our bit of cane so it's going to shave that push him through there and there he is, he's come out just there. Okay. And now we need to lock him off. And to do that, what we're gonna do is just pick on a cane, a nice strong bit of cane that we can use to lock off against. So I'm gonna pull that through a little bit further. And I think what we'll probably do, we've got our options here. I think we're gonna take, I think I'm gonna take him around this bit of cane here. Um, so I'm going to come in here with this other needle. Okay, just like that. You can see that needle's passing underneath there. And we'll just thread that back up through like that. Okay, there we go. And what I should be able to do now just pass him, pass him under there like that. And if I put him tight, that should lock off really quite nicely. And off we go. And because I've decided that actually this is going to be the upper face of my basket, this is the bit that I'm going to be looking at. I'm now deciding to twist outwards. When I started and I was up the other way, I was twisting inwards. I'm now going to twist outwards. So. Just put a little twist on there, okay. And I'm looking for where my cane is gonna come back through. And again, the cane is gonna to wanna to come out between these two. So I'm gonna put this needle in so that I can go and find it. But I'm putting the needle in diagonally between these two bits of cane. And it's gonna come in and it's gonna come out between these two bits of cane here. That's the plan. So through like that and there we go we can see he's emerged there so we'll just thread oh we just need to sharpen this up sharpen cane up there and where's he gone there we are okay and we pull him through like that Okay, and it's at this point now we want to start on the twist here. So we don't want to over twist it, just get it nice and stiff. And here we are, just pull that tight. A little bit of massaging with the fingers, just pull that nice and tight. And there we go. And we're off. So again, through here like so. find actually is you as you're making the basket you might find you're getting it nice and tight and it sort of slackens off sometimes the cane slackens off so you've got to what you need to do is sort of massage the cane through so this one now I'm just tightening up by massaging it through there and it sort of pops out here a little bit so get that into position and then pull that tight and that locks off really quite nicely nice now There's that needle coming through. It's going to go in there like that. And the thing you want to get really is a really nice, 
rhythm when you're doing this work. There we are, nice twist on that. Getting a really nice twist up on that. And you'll see the rhythm in the pattern that you create if you get a good rhythm together. And you know, make sure that part of that rhythm involves threading some of the straw into the funnel that you you keep that up keep that as part of your rhythm because it's really important just to keep this funnel really well stocked so you've always got a nice thick lot of material to to um to draw on because you want to keep that coil nice and consistently thick if you go thin what tends to happen is the next round of coil kind of sits in on the thin bit and you start to get irregularities in the in the shape of your basket which to a certain extent sometimes it can't be avoided but the stage here where I've only got a short maybe five six inches left of cane here so what I'm going to do is just bind that off and as you go on making the basket you'll see this becomes obvious as to where you want to be binding this one off so I'm going to come over the top here and I've got to try and get that twist on for the straw come over the top and what I really want to do, to be honest, is probably, it's a difficult decision here to make, because I really probably want to bind off on that one, I think. So the straw's going to come, the cane, rather, is going to come round there and kind of bind into, into this one here. So what we want to do is get this needle here, try and get that under there like that. Okay, and once we've done that, we come in here, pull in nice and tight, nice and tight, as tight as we can get in, in there. Okay, we've got nice and tight over there, nice and tight, and then what we need to do is we want to fold him over that and come under this one here the plan so let's get the needle in there in preparation we're going to fold him under that one there like that and then just use the needle just to carry him through and there we go we've got a nice nice tight bind in there and this this cane is actually very very damp it's really soaked this cane so it's lovely to work with a lovely and pliable but of course when this cane dries out it will go stiff as a board and that will lock off really nice and tightly that will and of course the cane because it's wet as well at the moment it's just slightly expanded again when you get it dry it'll really sort of tighten up so there we go okay let's just run through tying off a new cane Again, do some tidying as you go along, that's always useful to do. Um, let's grab another bit of cane. And uh, I always kind of like to keep the cane on the base of the basket as thick as possible because the base of the basket really is gonna take most of the punishment and, and sometimes the, the rim as well. But the base, if you're using the basket and you're carrying it around, you're putting it on the ground all the time, it's going to get bumped and bruised around. So that's quite a nice thick bit of cane there. You'll always have a bit, I mean it goes a bit, it goes a bit thin there actually, but um, for the most part that's quite a nice thick bit of cane. So um, yeah, just run it through the hands. 
this is often the point at which you just want to check it does go quite thin up there so we'll see we'll see if we use it as far as this end there I'm not it's also got a bit of a snap in it so I tell you what I'm going to do I'm going to make the decision now and just take that off there cut a nice little needle in there uh, lovely and thick at this end though um, if anything it's probably a bit bit too thick maybe not we'll see how we go okay cut a nice needle there as well so where do we want to go in <clears throat> Well, this is where our last one came out. We've bound it on the other side. So we want to come in here. We want to come through diagonally and try and find somewhere over here to bind it. So let's just see what comes naturally. So we go in there like that with the needle. There we are, just feel it per bursting out there. Oh, it's come through our cane. Let's see what I'm going to do. Let's go through there like that. See if I can go under. There we are, absolutely perfect. So we've come through there and what we'll probably find ourselves doing, okay, going in there like so. Okay, that's the wonderful thing about this needle, it just makes the job really easy. Um, and this time round, I think we're gonna bind off against there and what we've got is a nice, is, is a nice option actually. To the previous bind, what we can use is with this bind, is we can really, really lock that one off hard. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is come in here again, like so. Get it nice. Just like that. Okay. And again, just putting them under there it's one way of really, really solidly locking them off. So if I do this, it's a stiff bit of cane, so we're gonna have to do some massaging with it. So you can see there, look at that. You've got a lovely little bind in there. And it's also had the added, added benefit of catching the tail end of the last bind as well. So I'll just give that a little tidy. Snip him off there. And there we are, ready to go again.